Yeah. What's this? Well, you might get uh, a little bit more out of live. We'll see how we go. Right, what do we got? Uh, it's my my newest niece. Um, my sister just had a what 11, 12 weeks ago. So, yeah, this is this is what life's all about. It's amazing. Ash, can you just sum up the match today, please? Yeah, I think um, a match where I probably didn't feel super comfortable. I felt like um, my my first plan wasn't working. I couldn't execute the way that I wanted, so I tried to go to to B and C and. Um, yeah, I think I had to, to dig and find a way, and I'm, I mean, two points away from winning that in straight sets, which is uh, disappointing, but knowing that I had to fight and scrap, I still, um, yeah, gave myself a chance to, to win the match. What was the A plan and the B and C plan? Uh, I'm not going to tell you all my secrets. I mean, it's, uh, I try and go out and play the way that I want to play, and if it doesn't work, I, I know that I've got different tools that I can go to, and I tried to go to those tools today, but uh, unfortunately couldn't quite um, scrap enough to, to get over the line. How are you feeling? It's been so much pressure on you across this whole summer. You had two set points in, in each set, and you've fallen in the semi-finals. Yeah, it's disappointing, but it's been it's uh, been a hell of a summer. Uh, I mean, if you you have told me three weeks ago that we would have won a tournament in Adelaide and made the semi-finals of the Australian Open, um, I'd take that absolutely uh, every single day of the week. But um, you know, I put myself in a position to win the match today, and just didn't play though the biggest points well enough to to be able to win. I have to give credit where credit's due. Um, Sophia came out and played aggressively on those points and, and deserved to win. Many people may not know much about Sophia, but she showed today that she's right up there and perhaps deserving a spot in the top five, top ten. Yeah, I think um, after today she is a top ten player. I think after this week she is a top ten player. So she deserves that respect and she deserves the recognition. I mean, she's played an exceptional tournament. She's had an exceptional last 12 months. And, uh, yeah, you have to give credit where credit's due. She played the bigger points better today. Was the occasion any kind of factor today, do you think? No, no, not at all. I mean, I've, I've been in a, a Grand Slam semi-final before. Yes, it's different at home, and I enjoyed the experience. So, I, um, yeah, I mean, I loved being out there. I've loved every minute of playing in Australia um, over the last month. And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I could have could have had an opportunity to go one more match, but we didn't we didn't quite get there today. Uh, how tough was it being out in court today? It's obviously a, a really hot day. Was it troubling you at all? Uh, no, no, not really. I mean, I've, I've grown up in Queensland. I've played in, in summers and played in the sun a long time. And I know that um, Sophia's also grown up in Florida, but everyone's playing in the same condition. So it um, didn't kind of help or hinder me. It just kind of is what it is. Four times last year, so pretty familiar with her. But did she do anything that surprised you today? It seemed like early on she was going after your back end, especially a lot more than maybe before. Oh, I don't think that was different to what she'd done in the past. I think um, today it was uh, about me trying to find my court position a little bit better. But um, at the end of the day, she she played the biggest points well. I mean, I kind of felt like I was scrapping and trying to find uh, what I wanted to do best and, and came within a couple of points of winning the match. But, um, yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, it falls your way and sometimes it doesn't. That's just that's sport. That's life. You've been the face of the Australian Open here and you probably will be for many years to come, I imagine. What have you learnt from this past month that you will put into practice next year when you deal with everything again? Oh, I've learnt so much over the last month. I've, I've learnt, um, you know, from all of the experiences that, that I've um, kind of been thrown into. I've loved every minute and, I, you know, I won't wait a year to, to put those into practice. I'll put those into practice next week and to, uh, you know, the next time I walk out on court, the next time I kind of wake up in the morning, every, every experience you need to learn from. And I've done that. I feel like as a team we've grown. Um, we've, we've enjoyed every single minute and, I mean, can't wait to get to get started for kind of the rest of the year, but I feel like it, it's going to happen pretty quickly and we're going to be um, back sitting at this table with an Australian summer next year. What, what kind of thing have you learned? Lots. Uh, yeah, but I don't need to need to tell you guys, so I'll um, obviously keep that and keep chipping away and keep learning, keep growing, and that's what we do. difficult is it to compete? How easy or difficult is it to compete against a player that, uh, that is so competitive like, uh, like Sophia? Uh, every player is com uh, complicated. Every player is unique. Every player is different. So I think um, even when she's, she's as confident as she is, I, I know that I need to go out there and play my best. And I wasn't able to quite do that today. But in saying that, I'll, I was also a couple of points from winning the match in straight sets. So that's disappointing. But we'll, uh, you know, we live and we move on. I feel your sister. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you good? Could you tell us uh, 
your wonderful niece's name, and did she give you any particular words of comfort after you came off the court? Her name's Olivia. She's telling you that right now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, perspective's a beautiful thing. Life is a beautiful thing. It's, she brought a f smile to my face as soon as I came off the court. I get to give her a hug, and it's all good. It's all good. I actually go home for a few days and de sort of decompress. Yeah, I mean, like we do at the end of, of every tournament and the end of every experience. Um, we we kind of debrief it, um, we enjoy it, we celebrate it because uh, you don't you don't get these opportunities every single week. So we get to enjoy the experiences that we've learned and the experiences that we've had over the last month, um, and then gear up for, for the next few tournaments and the, the kind of the start of the U.S. summer mm -hmm. or spring. I know, I know. Uh, I'll be playing in Dubai and Doha and through the Middle East next. Okay. Well, experience being number one here and having all those expectations easier than you thought it would be, harder than you thought it would be? Uh, they didn't exist. Uh, you guys spoke about them a lot. Uh, I felt like I answered uh, a lot of questions without knowing the answer. Uh, I mean, it's for me, I've just tried to go about my business the same every single day. It's regardless of whether I was... 50 in the world or, or 100 or, or 1 in the world. Um, you know, I, I try and prepare and do everything exactly the same. But, yeah, you guys have spoken about it a lot, and I, I don't know if I've given you a real answer because it's kind of isn't, isn't really there. What is it actually like to be number one? What, what comes with it? Um, a lot more seats are full in here. Um, sometimes I, I get the, the privilege of playing on the bigger courts. Um, but really, that's that's about it. Um, nothing's really changed uh, for me or my team. We're we're trying to, we're trying to chip away every single day to to get better as uh, people, to get better as tennis players. And um, it just so happens that we've got the number one ranking next to next to the name on the draw. Ash, could you take a moment and comment on what makes Sophia so tough as a player out there on court? Yeah, she has the ability to adapt. She has the ability to, to try different things um, and control the centre of the court. I felt like she was able to do that today. Um, too many times she was on the inside of the court and I was trying to kind of configure my way back into back into points. And, um, yeah, I mean, she's she's extremely confident at the moment as well. She's Aww. loving seeing the ball on her strings and she's playing very well. Can you take the mic again? You say um, it's debrief. Is that, will you watch this match again or do you just put it, put it away oh, no. and move on? No, I haven't, I haven't watched a match that I've played for a long time. I haven't watched any that I've won. I haven't watched any that I lost. Um, we, we kind of uh, learn from it. I, I've lived through it. I've played it. I, I know what happened. So we chat about it, um, we learn, and then we move on. Thanking you.